how to memorize things quicker than others. Do you wish that there was a medication that could help us retain everything we wanted to? Like you take a pill and are able to recall all the answers to your questions on an exam? Or how about you're giving an important speech on your last day of school, recalling all the memories and you forget it, so you would take that pill and remember it all? Unfortunately, this isn't the case. We forget a lot of stuff during our lifetimes. In this post, we'll go over some basic memorizing techniques as well as a universal formula for retrieving any knowledge from memory when you need it. Ready? Let's get the party started. The available space is restricted. Remember that Sherlock Holmes knew the names of all the planets in our solar system. He wasn't a moron. It's just that he was too educated to remember such important knowledge. Instead, Sherlock purposely removed data from his memory that he would never require. We all do it to some extent. Some of us are less aware than Sherlock, yet your brain deletes unnecessary information for you. Regardless, this shields you from information overload. As a result, all new material is stored in the short-term memory rather than the long-term memory. You easily forget something if you don't repeat it or use it. Hermann Ebbinghaus, a German psychologist, studied memory and its mechanics. He demonstrated the forgetting curve by demonstrating that we forget more than half of what we learn in just one hour. We barely remember roughly 30% of what happened one day later. Let's discuss various techniques through which we can memorize quicker than others and store information for a longer period. But before we begin, please bear in mind that we make these videos for free for your amusement, and all we ask is that you like them and subscribe with the notification bell turned on. Repeat in intervals. So, how are you going to remember everything? When you require anything in your long-term memory, you can use a monetization technique called space repetition to keep certain information in your head for a longer period of time. It also helps to identify a few solid study techniques to incorporate into your routine. Forced memorization is ineffective. In this instance, because your brain is unable to swiftly process information and build strong associations, it all relies on why you're learning anything in the first place. To learn things faster, there are two major ways to consider. The first is that when you need to learn knowledge rapidly, you should only use it once and forget the majority of it. This appears to be typical for exam preparation. To quickly recall information, repeat it immediately after learning it. The second repetition should be 15 to 20 minutes later. You don't have to go back to the information after each repetition. Instead, simply rest and do something else to allow your brain to relax. After six to eight hours, repeat the learned information for the third time. The final repetition should occur 24 hours following the initial contact with the information. Have you ever done this trick before? I'm sure you have, as it's the most basic technique almost every human being uses, from babies to adults. It's the most popular. Make an effort to comprehend what you discover. You've probably experienced the sense of learning something but not understanding it. The knowledge frequently becomes a nightmare because it appears to be memorizing a poetry with no rhyme. Another disadvantage of studying something you don't understand is that you won't be able to continue if you forget some of it. This is because you simply remember the arrangement of the words, not their actual meaning. Instead, read the complete piece of material and determine the primary point or points. Attempt to retell what you've read in your own words. Make things as simple as possible. If you succeed, it means you understand the material and it will now be much easier to memorize the specifics to learn the most important information. Set your priorities right if you feel you have too much on your plate. Decide what you must know and what you can get by without. Concentrate on the most important aspects of what you need to remember. It's fantastic if you can find some time to spend on the less important material, but that can wait. How much aware are you of your priorities? I mean, tell us in the comment section if you ever compromised over your priorities. Did you ever regret it? Take use of the serial position effect. No, this is not when you place your Cheerios on the right side of the table and your schoolwork on the left when learning something new and memorize the greatest bits at the beginning and conclusion. Take use of this effect. Arrange the material such that the most important portions are at the beginning and finish. Switch your focus from one issue to another and from one action to another for interference theory to rock. 
For example, suppose you're prepared for a public speech and have spent 15 minutes memorizing the text. It's now time to take a 15 to 20 minute break and recover. This is the time when focus is at its peak. Others refer to this as the Pomodoro technique and it is effectively summarized by study skills coaches. Unfortunately, people tend to lose focus during this period. The best thing you can do is switch to something completely different, such as practicing the guitar or blasting Bush songs on Fortnite. Another thing to be cautious of is learning similar knowledge. According to interference theory, comparable memories get mixed up and create a jumble. As a result, if you know you're about to study something that resembles what you've already studied, we advocate taking a long break before beginning something new. Discover the opposites. In pairs, opposites are easily remembered. If you're learning a new language, try learning at the start of the day and at the end of the day. This way, you'll create a mental link between the two events. If you forget one study session, the second one will help you remember six, allowing you to develop your own mental palace. This time, it's all about Sherlock Holmes. Do you remember how he could spend hours searching for facts in his mind palace? The goal is to associate items to remember with a certain object. Try to relate what you're learning to something in your room if you're in your room. After that, recollect the objects a few times to recall how the room looks in your memory and repeat the things you linked with each object. Want to improve on this skill? Divide all the concepts you need to remember into manageable chunks. Then, distribute these components across your apartment. Even better, scatter them over your city. This manner, the memorized material will not be drab or monotonous. Instead, it will be coupled with other memories such as the odors of places and people you saw. Everything in this world has its opposites, good and bad, tall and short, etc. So try to think of the opposites because sometimes you remember the opposite which helps you in recalling the information you need. Have you ever done that? Make use of nail terminology. The goal of this strategy is to connect one thing you've learned to another. If you need to remember the French term for nail, search up wall hammer or other similar words that are logically related to nail and create up stories. If you need to remember a lot of information in a specific order, try putting the parts together into a tale. It's critical that the pieces are linked together by some sort of storyline. If you forget something, you can always remember what was intended to happen next in the story. Yes, it may appear that you need to do significantly more work, but this is correct. It works wonders, believe us. Was this something new for you? Hopefully, as you watch our videos, we keep on adding onto your knowledge as well so that every time you visit us, you learn something new. Tell us in the comments. Make use of a tape recorder. Make a recording of the stuff you're learning and listen to it a few times. We don't think tape recorders are used anymore, but you get the idea. Yes, it may take some time for you to become used to the sound of your own voice. This strategy may appear unusual or unpleasant at first, but it is useful since it allows all types of memory to function. To begin, you read the information so that you can see it with your own eyes. Then your ears pick it up. The more you interact with what you're learning, the better you'll remember it. Try to visualize. When learning, use your body language. This will assist you in activating your muscle memory. In front of a mirror, use expressive motions to reiterate what you just learned to yourself. Anger and other negative emotions have the greatest impact on us. This strategy will internalize your study. Avoid using obsolete books and learning methods. Since textbooks were written, a lot has changed. Don't squander your time on something that might turn out to be incorrect. Check the latest recent information on the subject online. Memory is a valuable tool people use to accumulate knowledge and use it afterward. The main thing is to find a suitable method of memorization and to organize the work in the right way. Almost everyone is blessed with equal memory power, and how you make use of it is where the secret lies. You might wonder, do I have strong retention power? The answer is yes. So, this was all from how to memorize and learn quicker than others. Hopefully, you enjoyed our video. If yes, please do give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to our channel. Have you used any of these techniques before? If yes, then did they ever help you retain your memory? Tell us in the comment section. We would love to know the answers. See you in the next one.